With the advent of coffee and espresso-focused cafes, there has been conversation about how to set up a bar with the optimal workflow for creating both speed and a positive customer experience. We will be showing you three different workflows and discussing some of the pros and cons of each so you can decide on the best workflow for your cafe. First, let's take you to the La Marzocco Cafe in the uptown neighborhood of Seattle. The La Marzocco Cafe is unique in that it changes up its bar flow several times throughout the year. The current bar flow at La Marzocco Cafe is probably the most traditional. In this setup, the employee takes the order at the point of sale station, transfers the order to the barista by putting the correct cup on top of the machine, and then returns to the customer to take the payment. After the customer has paid, they walk to the other side of the bar where they will receive their drink. In this system, a bottleneck can occur at the POS since the person at the register has so many tasks. Ordering, communicating the order, order questions, pastry orders, and payment. The advantage is taking care of all the transactional pieces in one spot so when the customer receives their order, they can simply enjoy their beverage. The next bar we're visiting is Milstead Coffee in the Fremont neighborhood of Seattle. In this setup, the customer places their order with the barista at the grinders. The barista starts making the drink while the customer moves over to the point of sale system. This workflow allows the barista to be making drinks while the transaction is taking place at the register. It also allows the customer to directly discuss the coffee options with the barista. This method requires a barista who can multitask and create a friendly customer interaction while still moving people through the line. Also, products can be placed along the path to the register for an additional sale opportunity. Next, we travel to G&B Coffee in downtown Los Angeles. G&B has one of the more unique bar flows in coffee right now. At G&B, customers can walk up to any part of the bar and place their order with a server. The coffee is all made in a central location in the middle of a circular bar. To optimize the flow, baristas on the machine are focused on pulling shots and prepping the ingredients for each drink. Servers will then finish creating the drink at the bar for the customer. The centralized workflow of this bar allows for drinks to be delivered at multiple locations, while also giving servers the opportunity to have personal interactions with customers. An efficient bar flow is crucial to creating a profitable coffee business. It's not enough to serve a great cup of coffee. People want a delicious cup of coffee, and they want it fast. Recently, La Marzocco developed a new competition called Crush the Rush that focuses on barista team's abilities to optimize their workflow in a head-to-head -head competition with other baristas. They get eight randomized drinks that they have to make perfectly and deliver to the judge's table before the other team. Here we are watching the finals of Crush the Rush in San Francisco. Focusing on speed and efficiency and choosing the correct bar flow can be the difference to create a profitable coffee business. We hope you enjoyed this look at some different options and found some inspiration to develop the best bar flow possible for your bar.